Now, here, the next item I want to talk about is the stack up. Double click on the stack up. Sherlock will take this image and it will look at all the uh, greens, the coppers that are here in this picture. And it can pretty much calculates the amount of green there is in here. And it calculates the, uh, the amount of copper we have in that layer, 15% for this layer. And on the right hand side here, it will calculate the material properties of copper or material properties of this layer based on 15% copper. And see it has a, this layer has a different CTE and modulus than the next layers. And we'll go to the next layer. This layer has way more copper. You can see it's calculated as 94.7% copper and different material properties, definitely. Sherlock does this for every single layer and it will calculate those material properties. And on top of the screen here, it calculates the aggregate material properties of your board. The total CTE of 17.8 in X and Y and the modulus in X and Y is 26,000 uh, megapascal. If you need to edit your stack up, you will right click, edit the selected layer. And then here you can change the thickness, the thickness that is uh, listed here. You can change the thickness. You can change the conductor material if you need to, but usually it's copper. And then you can change the resin material, which we have created a resin material called copper resin. Usually when you bring in your ODB, thickness of the layers are not necessarily correct. So I would always suggest that you would go and confirm the uh, thicknesses, right? If they're not correct, you will just go layer by layer to, to correct it. Or if all of your copper layers are same thickness, you can just click on this uh, little button up here. It will select all the copper layers, right click edit properties, and you're changing the properties of all copper layers. Or if you wanna change all the laminate layers, you'll do the same thing. As far as the laminate layers goes, you always want to have uh, your uh, stack up file saved somewhere. So you can always compare the thickness, the uh, construction of your laminate, pretty much everything uh, that you have from your designers. You can have this picture and then compare it against this one. So any information that is not correct here, you will, you will change it. One thing to notice is that the construction always comes in as default. That uh, information doesn't come in from the ODB. So if you don't have that information, it's always going to be generally FR4 and a default construction. Once you have that information, you edit that here under the uh, laminate material, you can change the laminate material and then under the construction, you can uh, uh, look for the construction that you have here. We have a whole bunch of different constructions here.